Hi again everybody, it's me, uh, Double B, and um, on this last video in the in the three series that I'm, I'm, I've done tonight, I'm going to talk about Chris Jericho, and what I'm going to be doing from now on is to kind of follow up on each week that Jericho is on Monday Night Raw to, to, to try to gain, you know, some insight, maybe, you know, to, you know, the direction of the character they're taking with Chris Jericho. Now, we saw last week, he was all smiles, he was laughing, and, you know, yeah, come on, baby, woohoo, and, you know, he was, you know, happy, he was excited, and, however, this week's, uh, non-speaking promo, it goes for him, from him being happy and excited to crying, being overcome with emotion. Now, we all kind of speculated that we might be seeing, you know, Jericho playing the trick, you know, ha-ha, you wanted Y2J, I gave you Y2J, and now I'm going to kill him back off. I really don't know where they're going with this. You know, uh, having Jericho last week, you know, all smiles and excited and stuff like that. And now this week... Overcome with emotions and crying, and at one point, you know, it, it, it kind of looks like Jericho was saying, "Why, why?" Something of that nature, something to to that extent. I, it's really weird, to, to be honest with you, the way they're, the way they're taking this, because you know, you know, they build them for weeks, for about seven weeks. You know, it's being, you know, it's going to be the end of the world as you know it. You know, the end begins 2012. And so far, in the two weeks, we've seen two silent promos. You know, and, and in these two promos, he's expressing emotions. You know, in the first week, you know, you know, happy, excited, you know, to be back. And this week, you know... He's overcome with emotions, you know, and he's crying in the middle of the ring saying why, and, and you know, and he can't talk, so, mm, I, I don't know, to be honest with you guys, it's really weird, to, in, in my opinion, you know, you know, it's, it's like, you know, they, the It Begins promos, they're billing him as, you know, the end of the world, you know, we're expecting a dark heel character for Jericho, and... So far, in two weeks, we have not gotten that. You know, what we have gotten, you know, is two silent promos. One with excitement and another one, you know, with sadness. So, what are we going to be seeing from Jericho now? Him coming out promos, not saying a word on the microphone, but just, you know, expressing emotions? Is that really the way they're going to be taking this character? I, I really hope not. But because uh, I'm really intrigued, I one I am still glad that Jericho is back. Bar none, I'm glad that Jericho is back. He's got, still got a lot to contribute to the wrestling business. You know, his name, his presence, still means something to we the wrestling fans. But I just really don't understand the way they're going with this, with Jericho. You know, with his character. You know, I'm trying to rack my brain as I'm talking to you. You know, trying to nitpick on you know which way the WWE creative is going with with this character, with Jericho's new gimmick. It's got to be a new gimmick. You know, and first off, I want to make you know, a reference to the fact you know last week um, about the right side of his ja uh, light up jacket failed on him, but on uh, um, this week's uh, in this week's segment. This jacket was okay, so I'm pretty sure that Jericho had enough AA batteries in his jacket to keep it lit up. But as far as the way this character is going and and the way they're taking it, it's just kind of bizarre if you think about it. It's kind of bizarre the way they're going with this because you know we're expecting one. It's kind of like what they brought us clean. Uh, uh, I can talk. Brodus Clay's debut tonight. You know, we're expecting one thing and we're getting something completely different. Is this the case with Chris Jericho and the new gimmick that he's coming with with the It Begins promos? It's very possible, very possible that we're getting something completely different than what the promos were building upon. 
but also in the same sense, maybe, you know, we're still waiting for the she to come out. You know, we're expecting another person in Jericho's gimmick. You know, uh, you know, she has beckoned me, you know, when she beckons me. And, you know, in, in those promos, you know, is what led us to believe that there's supposed to be another person to this gimmick. And, uh, and it's kind of making me wonder, is it the she that is only allowing Jericho to go out there in this gimmick and only express emotions? You know, is this, you know, is the she the one that's actually controlling Jericho in the gimmick? You know, is, is she the one that's saying that, you know, you can't speak until I tell you to? And the only thing he's going up there is expressing emotion. Now, there are several different ways you can interpret what Jericho did tonight, if you think about it, you now what if they're really doing a gimmick where the, you know, the female character is the one that's in control, you know, th there there are some slightly different ways that you can interpret Jericho's display of emotion tonight. Um, one could be, you know, guilt. You know, you know, maybe he's in an association with this per this female person that he doesn't want to be in. Now, in you know, and the guilt of it, of this association, having to be in, the, in this association, just got, you know, got to him. You know, that's one way you can look to look to it. Another interpretation of Jericho's, you know, emotions tonight is the fact that you know we the fans booed him, you know, for his heel character for the past several years and then we welcome him back with open arms to me that says you know it's not crowd you know marking out you know in a sense um, you know last week I I will admit I marked out a little bit just a little bit just a tiny bit but because I was actually glad to see Jericho back I'm glad to see him back in, in the WWE but um, for the fans to openly accept Jericho back, it, it kind of tells you that we, the well, this is my interpretation, you know, I, I'm not speaking for any other wrestling fans except myself, myself, me alone, you know, the reason I got so excited to see Jericho again, you know, and I was happy to have him back, because it's exactly what I said, he still has so much to contribute in the world of professional wrestling and you, his name means something his presence means something in the professional wrestling world and you, you know when it comes to top-notch top-level performances you can expect that from Chris Jericho and he always delivers always delivers you know and I'm glad to have him back you know, whether he turns face or heel, doesn't matter to me. You always expect top-level performances from Chris Jericho. And now that he's back, we're going to see a lot more of that. But as far as the direction the character is going in itself, it's really confusing is what it is. And so what I'm going to be doing from now on until we get the general idea of which way Jericho's character is going to be going in the WWE. I'm going to be doing, you know, weekly videos on here, kind of discussing what he did and, you know, trying to get your guys' input on it as well. So, what did you guys, the WGS TV YouTube viewers and subscribers, what did you take from Jericho's em overcome, being overcome with emotions in the middle of the ring tonight? You know, what direction do you see Jericho's character going? You know, you guys have provided so much input over the past seven or eight weeks for the It Begins promos, and I definitely want to get your input on this. So leave your comments in the comment section below or in a video response. Again, where do you see the WWE taking Jericho's new gimmick? That's what I want to know from you guys. So, with that being said, I'm Don B. Bunny Bujo saying thank you very much for watching.